Kia ora everybody, good morning. My name is Toriki Delamere. I am the former Minister of Immigration and a licensed immigration advisor, senior consultant for TDA Immigration. A few days ago, I received a breakdown of figures for the 2021 residence visa that are being approved and processed. So I thought I would share those figures with you today because looking at the Facebook, the various Facebook groups, there is a lot of anxiety out there from people who haven't yet had a decision made on their applications. This is table one, showing the total number of 2021 resident visa applications that were accepted for processing. Phase one, 26,316 applications, 24.8% of the total. And phase two, 79,743 applications, 75.2% of the total of 106,059 applications. So, as you can see, there's a lot of applications that were um, put forward, 106,059 of them to be exact. And they're going to take some time to be processed. As the minister said, they expect to be completed hopefully by the end of next year, 2023. This is table two, and it shows you the number of approved applications. So for phase one, 24,700 of the 26,316 applications have been approved already. That's an approval rate of 93.9%. And for phase two, 29,864 of the 79,743 applications have been approved. That's 37.5% of the total of phase two applications. So as you can see from table two, the huge majority of the phase one applicants have been approved almost 94%. Totally expected, totally expected. And that's because phase one are pretty much 100% applications of from people who had lodged skilled migrant applications they had already put in their documentation over the last two or three years so there's nothing to check they were processed by the artificial intelligence system that immigration new zealand are now doing because the computers just checked were you in the country on 29 september 2021 and for the previous three years, were you in the country for at least 821 days? And prior to 29 September 2018, were you in New Zealand at any time in the past? And if the answer is yes, 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 automatic, no need for human intervention. So that's why there's the high pass rate, almost 94%. Interestingly, the declines are about 0.9%, uh, I wish I could give you a specific breakdown, but unfortunately I, I don't have that information. So now let's look at table three. Table three just quickly shows you the approvals by phase one and phase two as compared to the total number of applications. 45.3% of phase ones made up for the approvals and 54.7% of phase two have made up approvals to date. As expected, the well-settled applications are the ones that are being processed very quickly because that's easy, doesn't need any intervention by the case officers to determine whether you qualify or not. The delays um, in getting approval for all the applications, including well-settled, come down to things like um, national security checks, um, checking the legitimacy, um, the genuineness of some of your support documents that are going in. But as we expected, well settled are going to be done first. The ones that will take the longest will be the scarce applications because immigration officers will have to make a determination is your claim that you are working in a scarce occupation, does it actually match up with what you're actually doing? So that will take some time. And, and in some cases, we've had a few where the immigration officers have queried um, the claim. 
The skill migrant, again, fairly easy to process. If your documentation proves that you've been paid $27 an hour um, from the 29th of September 2021 through to, the, through to the decision, you'll be fine. And here we have table four, which is for phase one, the decisions by the month and by the criteria. As you can see, they started off a bit slow, I thought, for December 21, but certainly picked up over the next few months all the way through to September. As you can see, the well settled were done very quickly. The ones that are left are those where immigration will have some concerns. Um, probably most of those are national security concerns, but I'm not really sure. And finally, table five, which is a month by month breakdown of the phase two applications. And table five shows the phase twos broken down into criteria, settled, skilled, and scarce, as we could see and expected. The great majority of the ones that have been processed already are the well settled because they are very easy, do not require case office intervention to prove that they're qualified for well settled. Any um, delays in processing will be down to things like national security check. Um, for skilled and scarce will take longer, scarce especially as they try to determine if you qualified in the claimed occupation. Anyway, I hope the charts I've showed you are helpful. If you qualify, you sure you qualify, um, stop worrying about it. They will get to you, okay? Look, there's still 50 odd thousand applications to be processed. These are the ones that are going to take time. The first ones that go processed, as I said, they're easy. They were um, well settled. The computers sorted that out in most cases. But it will take time, okay? So don't hassle your immigration advisors. Don't hassle immigration. They're just going to tell you it's processing, okay? So anyway, hope it's all useful. You all take care. And um, yeah, you'll soon be residents. Kia ora mai, uh, Dato.